oh what's up guys i know i haven't been posting for like what three weeks four weeks now but really i just been in my room as you can see and just laying down like i am right now all just aside though i haven't had a cameraman in texas you know i don't be having friends out here so i haven't been able to film for y'all boys also i lost my batteries for my camera when i was in north carolina with a mod so i have to replace those i replaced those and now i have a cameraman so i'm about to drop a banger hit that like button hit that like button right now for the algorithm because like why not so let's get into the video all right y'all boys i know since the tiktok days y'all niggas been obsessed with my hair or whatever and my hair changed, you know, I cut it off, cut some down, you know. But I'm getting it back to how it used to be. And so I never show you that I do my hair. I'm gonna show you that I do my hair. I be spraying this stuff in it. I watched a YouTube video and they said buy this stuff. So I be spraying in my hair like that. Just, you know, spraying it up. <laughs> not too much, but not, a, not too little. Rub it in. I don't know what they do, but I watched a YouTube video and it had a lot of views. So he was doing something right. Now take this brush, cause I don't be using this joint. Y'all be thinking I use this shit? I don't use this. This brush, and I just go, you gotta get that work. You no, know, gotta get that work in, just sponging it up with the brush. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Like that. Now I know, y'all thinking I look crazy and stuff right now, but you gotta trust the process. When it started growing, bro, it's gonna look how it used to look. Right now, it's still like in a short little process. So yeah, uh, we need to buy some batteries for the mic. So we'll be at Walmart. Hey, hey, evil, Knievel. bitch, I'm the reaper, lurking in your bush. Y'all, I'm the best hooper on TikTok. I mean, <laughs> TikTok. I'm the best hooper on. Uh, I'm the best hooper at Walmart. Uh, fuck, fuck. I'm the best hooper on YouTube. You know, I be putting up the buckets. I be balling. Cut that. You didn't see that. First shot. I'm the best. I'm the best. Excuse me. You know what the batteries are? The batteries are? The batteries? I don't think you understand. I said, you know what the batteries are? Uh, the batteries. Or what? Uh, the batteries. Well, so do you, know, you don't, I don't know what the batteries know. are? I don't know. No batteries? We got the batteries. All right, guys, so recently I got fired from my job on my day off. If y'all don't know, I worked at FedEx, but, like, I didn't lift boxes or nothing. I was just driving this little golf cart around. And I only worked Saturday and Sunday. And sometimes I didn't even go. I'd just be clocking in on my phone. Hopefully they don't watch this video. I mean, I really don't care. So I was just, I was going to quit in June to take full YouTube full time. But I got fired, bruh. So the lady called me. She was like, I got to let you go. Blah, blah. I would put the screenshot right there because y'all might think I'm capping, but she terminated me like it's don't say terminated so since i'm not monetizing youtube i'm here today trying to get a job at the one and only dicks and some other stores so let's try to get a job i had a question oh y'all working i didn't even know this so yeah. i used to work at a macy's out in a different state okay and i had an ex that was like really controlling but i was in love with her so i did what she asked me to do and she had me like still they said it was stealing, but it was, to me it was boring because I brought it back. I had to bring the lipstick for her, and apparently you couldn't do that, so they fired me. And I was seeing if I could get a job here, because she dumped me when that happened. And I'm not, I'm not a thief anymore. I don't think I am, so. Well, why don't you go upstairs and talk to them? It's on the third floor. Third floor? Mm -hmm. All right. Where luggage is, just go in there through those offices. Like right. Dr. Angela, if she's there. Y'all think I'll get the job here? Well, I don't know, sweetie. We're, we, we just work here, yeah. so, just I mean, we don't do the hiring. How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, you look like 15. <laughs> yeah, go tell, uh, go ask him. All Let's right. Let's see if up there, yeah. All right, thank you. Go up here and ask later. All right. Oh, it's a nice comfy bed. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, I used to work at a clothing store like this. Uh-huh. 
And I got I got fired or laid off really, cause okay. I got caught with the mannequins, uh, having intercourse with them. And we both grown, so we were having sex with the mannequins, and they caught me and they fired me. And I was seeing if I could probably get a job here, cause y'all y'all have. Customer services around here. Oh, okay. Here. You think I'll get the job? You need to talk to them. All right. Have an intercourse with them. Having what? Having intercourse with them, and I was seeing if I could get a job here. Cause y'all yeah, have white men because y'all don't have the black ones, so it's really not a thing for me. So I don't think I would be caught with them anymore. I don't know, but let me go ask you. Okay. Hi. Hey. You are inquiring about a job? Yes, ma'am. Go to ourdillards.com. All right. And then you'll apply there and hit the tab careers. Thank God they have good customer service because the work is here. Something else. No homo, bro. It's not gay if I say no homo. Hey. I have a question about a uh, hiring here. Yes. All right. So I used to work uh, here like two years ago. Okay. And I got I got laid off because okay. I got caught. In, I was supposed to be cleaning, but okay. I got caught getting one off in the South of the movie. It was back when Avengers was out. Uh -huh. and Black Widow. She was just too good to pass up on. So now that I'm with the therapy and stuff, I think I'm a, I could like I'm clean now. So I'll see if I can get a job here. Unfortunately, that's the reason you were fired. It's probably a permanent thing. Permanent ban. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I won't do it anymore unless like my, my demons get to me, but that's like rare. Like. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can try applying online again. It's all, it's all done online these all days. Right. I probably might use like a fake name. I mean, they'll probably see right through that. Uh, let's, be, let's be real here. All right, well, thank you. Yeah, sorry about that. That's right. It uh, depends. You gotta you gotta get online and pass that test, mm -hmm. an assessment test. Cause like I worked at a car wash, and like I thought I was there by myself one day, and I have like a car fetish, so I was, like got caught making it out with the car, and I got fired. So I was seeing like if I could work here, would that be okay? As long as I don't like be around cars. Cars? Yeah. Yeah, should be alright. Just, all right. just go online and fill an application. All right, thank you. As a car pusher. Excuse me. Um, I'll see if I like, if y'all were hiring here. Yes, we are hiring. You're hiring. All right. The thing is, um, I have like a little back history. At my last job, I got fired for stealing. Only thing I, mm -hmm. I stole, only reason I stole, is cause like I don't want to buy fake sneakers and look like a loser. I want to buy the real ones, so I was just stealing just to make the money faster. Mm -hmm. But I changed though, cause like it's impossible to get sneakers now. So I'm I won't steal no more unless like I get my hands on a pair of sneakers that I want. But who knows, you know? So yeah. I was seeing if like, that would affect my chances of getting a job. Well, you could uh, talk about that with um, the manager on your interview and y'all can see what y'all come up with. Is the manager here right now? Um, he just left. I can give you a card though. Uh, you apply, you go to this website here, or you could um, or you could uh, text here, or you could scan the QR code here. Right. And when you, on your, and on your interview, when uh, you're talking with the manager, y'all could bring that up and y'all could see what right. y'all can You think you could pull some strings for me though? If you ask my opinion, I will say that you seem like a polite young man. All right, guys, I went to the store and I bought this gun called the Splat Ball or whatever. It's basically like a water gun. I've been seeing it on TikTok, all on Instagram and shit. So I have to buy one. <coughs> my fault. But basically, I went and bought this. I couldn't find it literally nowhere. I went from Walmart to Walmart and they only had one left in stock. So I'm about to go to my boy, Clean Boy House, and we're gonna light them up with this, so let's go. All right, y'all boys, so we got this gun. I'm gonna let my boy Clean Boy shoot me because he's scared. He don't want me to shoot him. So I'm gonna take these shots for y'all. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna take these shots for y'all. Hit that like button right now. This shit's hurt, but not that bad. Guys, I'm not gonna flinch no matter how, how bad this shit hurt. I'm not flinching. Ah! Ah! 
Ah, fuck. <laughs> so my mom signed me up for unemployment, thinking I'm gonna get another job. That is my last job. I'm officially a YouTuber now. And since I bought this gun, I might turn into a trapper or a full menace. And then the watch for Zavino, I can't punch a clock. Fucking on the five. Bitch, I keep my bitches for the ops. We got gas stock, so we gon' open shallow with the top. Let the window down.